yeah very excited to be here it's my uh, second dok day so uh, happy to be doing the talk again um yeah today i'll be talking about uh, two open source projects canister and uh, copia and how they work together to do uh, date backup and recovery of stateful applications on uh, kubernetes hope you all find the session useful so a uh, quick introduction i'm uh, pavan navratna i'm an engineering manager here at uh, castan by veeam uh, my team and i are focused on finding uh, creative solutions for data management problems on kubernetes i am a maintainer for canister project and also a contributor to uh, copia whenever uh, uh, an opportunity arises so in my uh, previous dok talk at la uh i had covered the importance of you know data management and uh, different flavors available for protecting cloud native applications so let's start with a brief recap of these uh, different approaches as we all know um, cloud native applications are uh, made up of various components including uh, persistent storage volumes uh, databases and uh, their corresponding kubernetes um, resources so we see a, a very nice art here with uh, postgres mysql and uh, uh, equivalent uh, storage uh, volumes there uh, this whole thing makes up a cloud native app and uh, the simplest and the easiest way to protect uh, these apps would be uh, taking a storage centric snapshot so these snapshot basically uh, are provided by the underlying uh, file or storage provider and uh, in most cases they are uh, you know crash consistent and mostly this would be the fastest fastest option available uh, for data protection now however these uh, storage centric snapshots uh, don't really talk to the application at all the database or the application layer is not aware of the snapshots being uh, captured so it's not uh, application consistent so to overcome that we can uh, utilize some apis provided by these databases or data services to a uh, freeze and flush the application during the snapshot process so the actual snapshots here again they are uh, storage centric and they uh, have the same capabilities of uh, storage centric snapshot the third type here would be a data service centric approach where uh, the tools from uh, these databases like uh, mysql dump pg dump Uh, are used to uh, take snapshots of the database uh, this approach actually provides uh, database level consistency and uh, the data is kind of out of band uh, which means you could uh, restore it potentially on a different kind of storage uh, generally the restores for these types of uh, data centric uh, sorry data service centric snapshots are kind of complex Uh, so each of these approaches that we uh, just discussed uh, these have their own pros and cons in terms of speed consistency and cost so the optimal strategy that uh, applies to our cloud native application that depends generally on the needs of the application and also the infrastructure capabilities that are available to us so uh, each cloud native application kind of includes uh, a lot of different domains or different components so each of these components may have different owners and they all have their own requirements and concerns and none of them can be overlooked when protecting the application and then there's uh, different types of backups that uh, these owners or uh, component owners may need uh, some might use logical backups of the databases some may need volume snapshots or even something uh, provider specific if they if we are using um, rds hosted postgres then they may need uh, rds snapshots there uh, then some applications also need a way to scale up or scale down uh, during the snapshot process uh, that is again a choice that we need to make uh, finally there is also uh, different types of targets for the backups once the backups are taken where do we store it how do we move it to a different or external storage or something like that uh, given these uh, complex workflows and different moving parts uh, what are the main goals or requirements of a comprehensive uh, data protection tool first thing would be that 
the tool has to be application centric. So the main focus should be on the business continuity of an application. So keeping the uh, application always running with its data intact would be the main goal. And the tool has to provide a way to, you know, uh, coordinate and implement all the complex workflows we just talked about uh, in an application centric manner. Uh, we know the backups can be pretty easy to take based on the different methods we talked about, but uh, restores also should be made easy by the tool. Then there are some uh, compliance requirements users may need. Uh, so uh, the tool has to take care of the minimum number of snapshots available and stuff like that. For any tool, uh, security and reliability are of uh, utmost importance. So the tool has to provide some way to authenticate or authorize certain people to uh, modify or capture these snapshots of applications on Kubernetes. Then uh, the data that is stored or moved across or uh, outside of the Kubernetes cluster out uh, to some kind of external storage, this data has to be always encrypted to make sure uh, you know, there's no uh, disasters there. Uh, finally, there's also, you know, when we store uh, backup data, the tool has to provide efficient storage so that we save storage space and then efficient transfer of this data to external storage if required. And uh, there's also the compute cost of running the tool itself. Hopefully the tool has to uh, be, uh, uh, you know, uh, efficient while using uh, compute data on the Kubernetes cluster. Finally, there's uh, freedom of choice. The tool has to support uh, different types of storage backends, different types of Kubernetes platforms and uh, other things as the user desires. So uh, does such a tool exist? Absolutely. Uh, so it does in the form of a combination of two open source projects, Canister and Copia. Let's see uh, what each of these tools uh, do. What is Canister? Uh, Canister is an open source framework. It's purpose built for uh, application level uh, data protection on Kubernetes. It is mainly implemented as a Kubernetes controller. It's based on operator pattern. I think we were just speaking about it in the previous talk. Uh, we can define and execute database or application specific workflows using a set of Kubernetes CRDs here. Uh, the workflows are defined in blueprints and executed using action sets. Profiles are used to define the storage targets that we uh, uh, use to store the backups. Uh, some of the details, uh, I think I had uh, covered this in my previous DOK day talk. So if there's a video available, uh, please do watch that to get more insight on canister. Uh, canister is also secured by uh, Kubernetes RBAC, so the rules can be defined while installing the controller itself. It is a Helm chart, so it's easy to install and define these rules. So the work workflows we have in the blueprints are defined in the form of uh, functions or canister functions. These are uh, easily extensible and uh, shareable. So once we define a blueprint for a particular uh, workload or a for example, a stateful set or a deployment, we can reuse that on uh, multiple uh, the, or multiple of these workloads. Finally, uh, there's also a lot of uh, qualified blueprints we have for uh, widely used databases on Canister. And uh, while Canister, uh, you know, handles all the application level uh, data operations, uh, we can use Copia to efficiently manage the backed up data. Copia is an open source tool that uh, manages file system snapshots in a remote storage. And uh, it calls this remote storage space as a repository. It is uh, secure and reliable. Uh, all the data being transferred or stored locally is always encrypted. Uh, the backup data written to a repository uh, is immutable whenever, the, whenever it is supported by the storage backend meaning that uh, the data cannot be accidentally or maliciously uh, modified or deleted. Uh, Copia helps storage space and bandwidth during data transfers. Uh, it does this by supporting uh, content-based uh, data deduplication. Uh, this means that the backup data uploaded once is uh, not, never re-uploaded based on its content. So if the same 
content is uh, present in the backups, it's not re-uploaded. It also supports uh, data verification and configurable uh, compression. And uh, for freedom of choice, it supports variety of uh, storage backends where the backup can be stored. So Amazon uh, S3 and S3 compatible stores, GCS Azure and um, many others. So let's take a look at how uh, Canister and Copia work together. Um, so let's assume that a database um, is also deployed on the cluster where Canister controller is deployed. Then we have installed a blueprint specific to that database. Uh, what happens first? So we first create an action set CRD. This defines which action should be run. So on creation, the canister controller um, reacts to this and goes and discovers the blueprint that the action set is pointing to. It gets the backup workflow and then uh, you interact with the database workload using a canister function. This canister function actually uses Copia within the execution of that function. So then we execute the canister function, uh, take a, a database backup and use Copia to upload it to the object store and object store or whatever store defined by the profile that is set in the action set. Now uh, Copia backup repository is uh, created at that location. Once all the all these stages and phases are run, the canister controller saves that uh, copia snapshot information in the action set status. This uh, information can be later used by the controller to uh, restore the data from copia repository. So I mentioned earlier that uh, we had a lot of example blueprints in canister. So uh, there are these widely used databases uh, that have blueprints and uh, wherever you see a small uh, copia uh, logo these are uh, copia based blueprints that we have tested currently uh, the automation for creating all the copia setup needed uh, is being worked on so it's work in progress we are still working on that uh, should be available soon um, in terms of backup targets i think we can create profiles in canister for S3, GCS, and Azure. Then there's also operator blueprints that uh, um, that we have written for Kafka, Crunchy Data, Postgres operator, and Kate Sandra. These are uh, uh, these work as like wrappers for whatever backup uh, operations or uh, backup support that these operators have. Yeah, I couldn't uh, uh, like do a, an actual demo, but feel free to visit the canister GitHub page. There'll be uh, demos there linked. Uh, even the previous DOK talk is uh, linked there. So try it out, uh, try out both canister and Copia. Let us know your feedback. Uh, contributions are always welcome. Uh, if you are at uh, KubeCon in Valencia, do visit our uh, booth there so you'll meet some maintainers and get some canister swag thank you again uh, uh, for having me here for this opportunity uh, it was uh, good to be here